running. So why don't you log on to um, Foundry? Oh yeah, where's the link to it? I think I forgot to um, add it to my favorites. Don't bother, because uh, it's it's pretty transient, so. Okay. Next time, like, you know, I might change the port or the address or something like that, and it'll be a different link. Um, and then there's, of course, the fact that it's not up all the time, so. Yeah. User, and then I need to go back on my history with you. The password. Join game session. more people show up um i hope so too but i'm gonna go with what we've got so we'll see when things uh, you know yeah we'll see how things go but i'm gonna go with two if i've got two i'm gonna i'm gonna go with two i decided i was gonna go with one tonight if i had one player i was gonna go so um So, without any further ado, -do, um, something strange in the sequence of events here is your characters wake up in their cell again, slash quarters if you like, and not really sure if they dreamed the events of the last session or what. Um, the toilet seats are all back and the quarters are back to normal, sort of. Um, Donata takes everyone, uh, one by one over to the therapy room and we're doing therapy sessions. Um, I've got the icons like everybody's in the therapy room at the same time, just to make it kind of simple, Easier. but kind of easier yeah but that doesn't actually happen um it's one at a time it's almost almost never more than one person at a time um <clears throat> so any mention of what you saw or what you think you might have seen is met with um met with resistance like the idea must have popped into your head in a dream or in your imagination and um, when your characters are pretty sure that it uh, that it must have happened um, Donata begins speaking the ancient Sumerian language that I mentioned before and it's it's a very suggestive language and it works in a different way than normal communication. So it's um, something that is uh, something that is it's the syntax and the, the tenses are different. So um, it, it's kind of like um, you're talking about seeing the um, advanced research lab and Donata will say Captain Courage doesn't know about a re uh, an advanced research lab um, rough, rough translation um, so K 
Captain Courage. Um, I'm going to have you save versus uh, mind control. All right. I think I've got something to help me out with this. Um, and that is under the combat tab on your um, character sheet. Right. Nope, I've got the opposite of something to help me out with that. Um, oh, it's, uh, uh, no, it's the opposite, yeah. Uh, so, save versus mind control, roll. That's 13. Uh, 13 is... That is enough that you are not really fully convinced. Um, and... Okay, so he is going to He is going to inflict some psychological torture on you. Um and that is going to cause a mental endurance roll under the main tab on your uh, character sheet, the little dice next to your mental endurance. Okay, you're pretty much fine, um, although it's not fun, but you're pretty much fine. So. Um, Chow, you were which character were you playing? Uh, I can't remember for some reason. Uh, Blizzard Bill. All right, Blizzard Bill. Let me know you said you... you added something to him with the bear claws and stuff. Yeah, under combat, you'll have a bear claw attack. You'll have a one action crushing attack, and a two action crushing attack, and um. I don't know which one is better. I I went by the book. I don't know if I will keep this by the book. 1d6 times 10 damage for the one action crushing attack. I'm sorry, for the two. And then 66 damage for the one action crushing attack. It really makes one... It Like, the one action is really not much better or worse than the two action, the way the mechanics are. And... Um, which is all part of the fun of Palladium. So um, I might leave it like that, but I would say just probably in most cases stick with the one action. The two action is going to be a gamble. You might get a high damage, but... Yeah, that's what I figured, because uh, then you have two... You're, you're using two of your turns on it. Yeah. Um, but let's start with a save versus mind control under the same scenario here. Um Okay. Donata talking in this language that is he's trying to suggest to you that this other place doesn't exist. Uh, and that's under the combat tab. So oh, I'm gonna see if I rolled it. I'm gonna turn off developer mode on your character sheet too. There you go. Cool. Alright, you're good. Okay, so He leads you back, and although he tried really hard to convince you that the idea that the power would just go out and leave everybody free to roam about the facility is completely impossible, but 
you're still pretty sure it happened. It should, uh, should only take less than me. <clears throat> I'm going to mute my, myself for a second, sorry. Oh, no problem. No worries. A few days and nights pass like this, or I should say a few sleep cycles. Days and nights have no meaning in this facility, but... Um, after this happens a few times, once again, the power goes out and everything opens up um, as far as you can tell. It looks like the gates are down and um, the lighting is on emergency lighting at the moment. Oh boy. Um, let me uh, turn the move my sheet. There you go. I I'm going to move out. And I had no use for those toilet seats the first time, so I'm not going to bother grabbing them. <laughs> no problem. Um, I'm trying to forget that it has a little bit of a lag. It says game is paused. Oh, right. I have... I have a tendency to forget about that. I think, yeah, no worries. I think that prevents you from moving your token if I've got it paused, but... Yeah. Hmm. Sorry about that. And it's still not letting me move it. Um... It's not letting me move my character. That's okay. Um... Verbal uh, works just as well. Yeah, I just wanted to move them into the hallway. Yeah, that's fine. I will count you as being in the hallway. So, as before, um, security measures are off, and you've got uh, emergency lighting only, and... Um, it appears that you can leave this facility from the east or the west from where you're standing. Um, the east is, as far as you can remember, goes to the therapy room and the west goes to, as far as you remember, the gymnasium. Yeah, I remember we wanted to head uh, north, right? Because we went the wrong direction last time. Well, Captain Courage steps out with, uh, well, a whole bunch of courage uh, this yep. time around because he's pretty, because since uh, since he was told that this was all a dream or whatnot, I mean, he can do whatever, and uh, <laughs> if, if it's not actually, if it's not actually a dream, it's their fault for telling me it's a dream. Yeah, that's the spirit. They weren't real. All right. They didn't kill real people. All right. So let's kill as many as we can. Yeah. Okay. All right. From this uh, room, you can exit to the west or the east. Let's go pick up some knives and then continue on our way. Yeah. We know we where those are. The, the same way we went before? West? Ah. Uh? At least to the knives, retrieve the knives, and then double back and do whatever else we want to do. All right, we'll head that way then. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the hologram said as far as uh, directions out. I just remember it said to go north uh, instead of the way we were going into, mm. like the wrong way. Where the computer was. Okay.
Okay, uh, the west door exits into a different place than your memory says it it would have. And you find oh. yourself looking at a hospital facility, um, which is going to be... Uh, let's have you guys do an intelligence check. Uh, okay. Under your main tab. That's our best one. Oh, yeah. I'm a six years down that one. Wonderful. Uh, I'm only one, um, one higher than you. Let's see what I got. 21. I got a 14. Okay. Uh, Blizzard Bill has been treated here before, and um, just some kind of mishap that happened in the gymnasium with a little uh, broken bone and a bruised ego. Um, but nothing major. So, um, Captain Courage does not remember this facility, and um, I don't think there's any further consequence of the natural one. Just say you don't remember the. F you don't remember ever being here before. Well, more confirmation that they were telling the truth that this is a dream, and we don't have to worry about killing or harming anything. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, let's see if I can move my guy now. Oh, I can. Okay. I like uh, this. Like, I like this kind of therapy when we're where we can just like live on our fantasies <laughs> in a harmless way better than the yeah. other kind of therapy where we get tortured. <laughs> yeah, we just gotta release our murder hobo tendencies on our torturers. Yep. Looks like there's some sort of like. Uh, La or futuristic laser surgery thing, maybe? Um, yeah, Over here? in your room to the right here, there is a um, robotic surgery table, and um, there are, in the room that you're in, are um, cryo-holding tubes that will... Um, I, don't, I don't think Captain Courage would really know all this, but you see right. these, these tubes that are like... They appear to be about the size of a average person. So, um, and since you stated you were looking for knives, um, you do find some blades that are. Uh, we'll just we'll count them as knives, surgical implements. Captain Courage is. Uh... Hey, he saw lasers. He he forgot about knives. He's gonna he's he doesn't oh, okay. have the Alrighty. smarts to do it, but he's gonna try to rip a laser off and kind of try to do the lucid dream. Will it to remain with me and work? <laughs> um, let's do a, a strength check for that then. Physical strength. Haha. <laughs> Forty-seven. Okay. Um, yeah, you broke a laser off. <laughs> you did. You did accomplish that. Gonna gonna not even test it. Just assume it'll work when I need it to. Because this is a dream. Alrighty. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah. Unfortunately for my for my party member, this will mean that I'll be wasting a uh, I'll be wasting an action in combat at some point. Oh no no no! It's fine. It's fine. This is fun. <laughs> is there another laser I can break off for Blizzard Bill? Oh, there's several. There's uh, no less than five or six. So. Oh, um, is there any uh, like uh, treats anywhere, like uh, you know lollipops or whatever? Uh, that's a uh, negative. Give in this, sick patients. In this particular, it's not that, not a not a place where they, where they give out those types of things. Um, <laughs> that's all right, Blizzard Bill. Here, have a laser. <laughs> yeah. You get a laser. You get a laser. <laughs> So, and there's also toilet seats, if you're interested in that. Um, there's one exit to the west and one to the southeast. Um, Are there uh, scrubs in these lockers down here? Mm-hmm, yep. So... Go ahead and... There's 
nothing that will fit Blizzard Bill, and there's, I don't know if you were thinking of putting them on, but there's uh, nothing that will fit Blizzard Bill, and there's, um, you know, Captain Courage is a is a size that would hypothetically work, but Captain Courage has extra arms, so that would be sure. kind of a problem for him too. Uh, there was there was the arms and then the the wings that were not vestigial. So, um, I gave I gave Captain Courage flight, so he can, which I know is ridiculous, and that's the idea. <laughs> I mean. There's only two of us, so I gotta I gotta be able to do ridiculous things. Chickens can't fly. What? <laughs> they can I mean, they can get pretty, pretty close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, chickens actually can fly for a very short distance, but Captain Courage has just basic flight. Uh, you know, mutants are not the same thing as the animals. So. Yeah. Thank goodness they didn't base my chicken off of like a. A Cornish game hen or something that's just (laughs) just there for meat (laughs) and like can barely walk. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a two liter bottle of Coca Cola eventually. Hmm. Okay. (laughs) Or some honey. Uh. (laughs) I so this is is uh, in this break room down here. Is that a vending machine or is that just kind of a not actually there. Yeah, there's a couple of vending machines in there, and it's got um, what appears to be some just different salty and sweet snacks and some different sodas and water and stuff. Oh, yeah. So with this vending machine, uh, we don't have any, like, money. Can right. I, like, <laughs> break it open and just take all the goodies? Yeah, I mean, you've definitely got the strength to do that. We're both very strong. It, even if it was, like, very strong uh, glass, we could probably just pick up the thing, hold it for- front ways forward, and shake it a hey, ton. Yeah, and get everything I mean, to I got to a roll physical I strength. See, I don't see an entrance to that room. I see the service window. Oh, okay, there's a little there's a little doorway right, right at the yeah, service right window. Right there. Okay. I was so like, if I roll a physical what? strength, can I open up the vending machine? Um, I don't think you probably even need a physical strength roll to do that, so I would say that you can just break it. (laughs) Alright, well, what kind of candy does it have? Oh, the standard, you know, um... Kit Kat bars and... Yeah, Snickers, uh, whatever. Paydays. Paydays. I bet they have Mars bars. (laughs) Anybody remember Mars bars? I don't think I do. The name sounds familiar, though. I know I know that it's a company now that owns several bars, but I don't think I've ever had a Mars bar. Yeah. Paul will just be, like, munching on a oh, dream, Dreamland uh, candy. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah. Mm, do, you, do you want to move on to the next room, uh, Courage? Heck yeah! Want to, want, to this try, is... want to try any of these uh these delectable cr- treats? Uh, yeah. We'll take a take a couple bags of uh take a couple bags of chips or whatnot. Okay. Yeah, like I hand you like a payday and like a bag of like flaming hot Cheetos or something. Heck yeah, flaming hot Cheetos. Those <laughs> are the bomb. Uh, with the lime. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about the lime, but yeah. Well. <laughs> I don't, at least in my memory, which is not, of course, perfect. I, it doesn't seem like they had all that variety in all the snacks back then. It seems like, uh, it seems yeah, like... Yeah, I'm pretty had, sure Flamin' Hot was, like, I mean, that was first like designed in... But, I, not that it really matters for the gameplay or anything like that, but... Yeah. So okay, here's what here's what I'll do. I'll find some spicy chips and some flaming hot uh, Cheetos and like fit in the bag and crumple, <laughs> crunch up all the uh, crunch up all the uh, the spicy chips and just give the give the Cheetos a second dusting. 
Yeah, it's right. like you make some like uh, some chicken feed out of the chips. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Man, I love this dream. I love this whole uh, the, like this this new thing that they're doing. It, like they never do anything that's fun for us, and this is fun for us. Yeah. <laughs> I would say so myself. All right. Um, Go on a big adventure. Yeah, southeast. Yep. Alright. Um, is the door locked? Nope, in fact, um, the main power is back on, and the door will open, um, by the, uh, presence sensor, so if you walk in front of it, it just opens for you. Ah, okay. Let me go through then, and we'll go to the next area. Oh, wow. This is advanced, advanced research. You are in a facility you have not seen before. And the hallway leads down into a double door to your southeast. And that's actually as far as you can see right now, technically, but... Um, These right. doors are locked. Alright, so like right here, and then it's locked? Yeah. Alright. Let's well, beat it down. Yeah, we're both low IQ. Only the both low IQ, IQ the low IQ boys show up today. <laughs> both low IQ low IQ high strength. Yep. Yep. That's that's how we roll. It's supposed to be like a stealth mission, but we're just gonna go on the <laughs> Um I'm gonna try and break the door down. Alrighty. Go ahead and give me a strength roll. And Is there some way I can assist him? Yeah, um, I'm gonna say, why don't you both do a strength roll and I'll take the best one and use, and I, I'm pretty sure Blizzard Bill's strength is higher, so I'll use it like Blizzard Bill rolled it, so. Yes, okay. for sure higher. Cool. 57 will open that door. <laughs> yeah, who needs passcodes when you got muscles? Yeah. Um, this room is humming with uh, some kind of machinery that seems to be supplying energy to this facility. Is there like an emergency stop button that I can, uh, I can, I can throw? Uh, you can throw it manually, but there's no obvious toggle or button. Mm -hmm. You can do I it. mean, we could always, uh, just break it. Yeah. And I'll turn it off too, right? That's what I meant when I said do, yeah. it, man do it manually. <laughs> I mean, it's a dream. Why the, why the heck not, right? Yeah, let's just be a, a, as obnoxious as we can possibly be. And, uh, Seriously, just break everything. <laughs> uh, I bet yeah, I can for us. I bet I can break this one before you can break that one. All right, we just roll. <laughs> we just roll physical strength again. Yep, physical strength. Yes. All right, this is already fun. Oh, hold on. Can I uh, can I roll a like a a, a speed or a physical? Uh, can I roll a speed to like try to? Pull, just rip, uh, get to all the different conduits and stuff and just unplug them as fast as I can? Um, they don't really unplug. It, it's not a modular thing. Um, but you can roll a speed to try to rip them as fast as you can. So, I would um, like to do that. Let's say, I, I think that is going to destroy this guy right here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is that the one I destroyed, or did he destroy Yeah, that's it? the one Blizzard Bill destroyed. So, okay. a speed of 46. So, let's call these these hoses. 
have been ripped out and the machines um, go dark and stop glowing their luminescent glow vanishes and um, some kind of alarm goes off that you're not of course really sure exactly what's happening but um, um, there is some kind of alarm going off and essentially um, make a perception check that's under your skills tab. You'll All have, right. You'll have a skill for perception. Let me find out. Oh, there it is. Let's see if I can perceive things. Nope. Captain Courage just uh, sees that there's three pairs of machines and sees that he lost the bat and he's like, that's two out of three. Oh, well, sure. <laughs> and if people do, like, come and attack us and if we die, well, it's only a dream. We'll just wake up back in our cell. And we got lasers. What are they gonna do? Yeah, exactly. Alright. I'm gonna... Oh, is this, is this a door that's, um... Same. It's the same well? situation as before, yeah. So. All right, I'm gonna break that one open. I'm gonna do speed again. Crunch. When I roll. Yes. Okay. Um, it all the, comes down to this last one. The door is ripped open without much problem. What was your speed roll for? I can't. Oh, I thought we were. I thought we were. Uh, Doing another, uh, doing another best two out of three on these generator things. Yeah, oh. I was trying to open the door to the next set of generators. <laughs> so Captain Courage was just like, he thought he won, but you're just doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm opening. I know I'm opening up the door so we can kill the next set of generators. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, it's open. Door's open. Okay. Totally would have won though. This is not a set of generators in this next room. Um, this is a set of various chambers that contain, um, kind of similar to what you saw in the hospital, except that there are um, living beings, I'm going to say, in these chambers, and they're not... Um, they're not human and they are appear to have been asleep and slowly waking up now so you've you're starting to hear like thuds on the glass and stuff do, do, do we want to uh let them go or do we want to do we want to kill them captain Kirk? we should we should at least open one of them up see what's going on yeah, we'll see if one of them, and then if it's hostile, we'll just kill the rest. Yeah. We just uh, help, we help one of them get open up. When you look a little closer, um, you can see that there's a mutated figure in the one that you're, whichever one you're looking at, and it's been, um, uh, it's not like you guys. It's, uh, it, what, it's what appears to be maybe a failed experiment or just... Whatever happened, it's it's an extremely grotesque mutation that has a, just a disfigured face, and um, in some cases the body parts might not be all in the right place, or it might have like tentacles replacing a limb or something like that. Hmm. Ah, that sucks. Or do you think? I don't know. This one looks a bit weird. He looks different. Hey, hey, let's let's not discriminate. Let's, uh, yeah, but it, it's not his enough. fault. It's not our fault they did that to us. It's not his fault they did that to him. Mm. All right. Probably. <laughs> All right. I, uh, you I, rip I one uh, open, peel open his little coffin, I guess. Okay. Um, do a strength check. All right. This will work. You can just brute force your way through everything. Yeah. yeah. 
When you have 42 physical strength, it's a... Uh... Uh, he jumps <laughs> out with a... <laughs> hey, bud! And... We you are... are... You a friend or a foe? Uh, definitely aggro. So... Okay. We are going to... I'm going to well, do it right this good. time. I told you, they look different than us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a dream anyway. But okay, I Captain hope. Courage is going to be able to go first here. All right. Just decided it's a, it's a, a dream so he can kill him. Run up. Uh, yeah, a, a talon strike. And... Nice. All right. Um, I think he will attempt a dodge. Okay. He, she, or it, as the case may be. Ooh, a tie. Uh. D I think attacker wins on the tie. I can't quite remember, but I guess as long as it's consistent, then who cares? I'll figure. 19 hits a 19. Okay, so um, Actually, I'm not sure no, what my... It's the opposite, but whatever. <laughs> sure, yeah. Uh, my damage bonus for having 29 physical strength. Um, oh, uh, hang on a second. I fixed that. Let me make sure that's... That's the way it's supposed to be on yours. Yep, it's not. It's not the way it's supposed to be on yours. Okay. I can fix that. I can fix that right now. Uh, one moment. Bear with me. This, like I said, this is a generic character sheet. It's not... It's not set up for Palladium, except in that I've set it up for Palladium. So it's right. It's kind of takes a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. The well, one thing I appreciate is, you know, having you guys you do the sheets for us since we're new to the system, or at least I am. So. Yeah. Let me double check that. Okay. Nice. And same roll on the dice too. One D four. Okay. So plus fourteen is what you should be getting on your damage. So um that is eighteen damage and let's go ahead and take that off. And I think that was two actions out of three. Yep. And I'll leave my remaining one for reacting. Uh, whose turn is it then? Uh, this is now the mutation. And he okay. is going to... This is attacking Captain Courage. He's going to swing a kick at Captain Courage. Gonna, Dirty 20. I'm going to react in some way. I'm not sure which, if, uh, if any way, has a, an advantage over another. Um... Now it looks like dodge and parry are both five, so I will dodge. All right. Nice. Then he's going to throw a grapple at you now. And 
that will hit with a five. Oh, hey, bud. It's all right. Doing 14 damage. Ow. <laughs> Not that hard, buddy. Nah, he'll be fine. That, uh, psychic damage from Donata earlier, uh, is that still affecting me? No. No, that's gone. And we're, did we refill on our SDC from last time? Yes, it should be uh, back to maximum. Okay. And I'm pretty sure nobody took any hit point damage, but if you did, that should also be back to maximum. I'm, I'm like almost certain nobody took any hit point damage last time. Um, I okay. need you to um, hit an exhaustion toggle um, under your defense modifiers under combat. Oh. And then go down to um, under your main tab at the bottom, there's a list of variables. And one of them says exhaustion, and it should be on not exhausted. Um, change that to slightly exhausted, which is just the same thing as um, grappled. Uh, where is this? Main tab on your character sheet at the bottom. It says variables. Ah. Exhaustion. Slightly exhausted. Is yep. that from uh, having a... Is, that's probably an effect that he had on me? That's the, the grapple. The that's, that's you being grappled is what that is. Ah. All right. Okay. And so that's four, and one more. We're going to elbow you in the face. Oh, jeez. This guy's got all the actions. Save us home for the rest of us, guy. And that's 15 damage. Whoops. I'm not trying to flip those dice again, so. Uh, Blizzard Bill, it's your turn. All right. Well, I'm gonna bear hug the mutant that's bear hugging uh, Captain Courage, I guess. Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna combat, and then um, where is it? Uh... There's a list of your attacks. It's almost not quite all the way to the bottom, but almost. Is it the melee crushing attack, two attack action? Yep, there's a one attack version and a two action version. So, And you have to use one action to move into position. Okay, am I in position? You are one square away, so you have to get next to him to bear hug him. Okay, I'll just do the one attack one. I thought he was technically like on top of Captain Courage. So I thought I could um, get him. Um, and the one I want to use is melee claw attack is the first one. I'm going to try and uh, swipe him. Okay. So you have three actions, so that's going to miss. Yeah, I had to use one to move, though. Wait a second. Does that hit? That's a miss. Damn. You have to roll a five, right? Fuck it. Four, I want to try and hit him again. Mm -hmm. I got one more action. Wait a second. Oh, my bad. It's okay. And that one just doesn't count? Um, no, I'm going to count the roll, but I just... Um... It's not adding adding your your modifiers correctly. I'm just gonna double check something real quick. So oh, yeah, okay. okay. That first one, the bear hug, um, or I'm sorry, the first one, the claw attack, um, that actually should have hit, and the second one hits as well. Oh okay. Um, well, it might kill him then. 
Uh, so just roll the damage twice. Yep. <clears throat> and it should add your. Better do it. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me check something again. I'm going to let that one go. I think that's... Let me know whenever it's fixed and I'll roll it twice or whatever. It, it's kind of hard to tell when it's fixed. <laughs> okay, let me know when you want me to test it again then. So, um, I think that is correct. It just added your damage modifier twice. Okay, so okay. let's try your... Because you hit twice, so go ahead and roll your second hit, your second damage. Okay. Yeah, okay, so now it's doing it uh, correctly. All right. So he is... Probably... Um, were you trying to dislodge him from Captain Courage? Uh... No, I was just trying to kill him. I was just hitting him real hard while he was like bear hugging him, basically, since he, you know, he isn't going to be moving if he's trying to lock him up. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and, and go to the next round, and Captain Courage starts with um, being grappled. Uh, look around and see if the other, uh, if the other coffins are looking like. Their uh, things are about to escape from them. Uh, you can tell that some of the other some of the other creatures have awoken and are scratching, punching, kicking at their um, at the at the door that holds them shut at the at the glass. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? At the seal that holds them shut. Um, you don't really see any sign of progress uh, yeah I guess progress you don't really see any sign that there's any progress being made on that yet so um, they do seem like they're probably going to have the strength to break out uh, it's just a matter of how long it's going to take alright I'm uh, going all out uh, in order to, uh, in order to hopefully get this guy dead and get up, get the heck out of Dodge by the time the others get out. So, um, if necessary, I'm gonna take all my actions right now to try and finish him off. Uh, do we get, like, uh, he's, uh, he's bloodied, he's, uh, he's hanging on by a thread, or, or, or do we not get that? No, um, so far, uh, the damage has been superficial. Oh, fun. Uh, maybe we should just get out of here. Uh. Nah, man, we can do it. Uh, dreams hurt, man. Ah, uh, come on, we can dream, take him, says Gimli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a dream, though. If we die, we just wake up at the start. It still hurts. I would say, like, you know, if, if you, um, if your characters do believe that it's a dream, that's fine, um, but usually in dreams you still try to not get killed. <laughs> that's true. Um, uh, you don't feel like your own death is imminent either, though, or anything like that, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm not All right. going to get hit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try and pull my laser. Okay. Um, uh, this for my first attack. Actually, hold on a second. Let me check something. I'm just going to take a quick peek at your skills and see. Okay, so, um, yeah, how about a... Um, Strength check. Okay. 
Okay, you've got a laser arm free. Awesome. Uh, am I rolling? What can I roll to uh, fail at shooting a broken laser? <laughs> I mean, uh, I guess I don't have to roll oh, at all. Because... Well, it's uh, uh, it's about the same thing as a thrown rock attack. So, I would say the thrown rock attack works. Make sure, and it should be adding your physical prowess. Make sure it's adding your physical prowess. Okay, yes, it is. Okay, so, um, perfectly good shot to the face. That would have worked had anything happened. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, so, oh. Dang it. Uh, I will just remember, uh, so when he came out, he shouted but it was all like a garbled mess right i would say it was just sort of a like something between a shout and a roar like it was like a vocalization that just doesn't really have any particular you know it, it's not a human mouth it's like it's a completely alien sound but it was kind of like a Rah! essentially Um, okay. Um. I have one action left. I think. Um. Let's see, I tried to laser. Did I do anything else other than that? No, uh, I think I don't probably... think so. I think you have two actions left. Okay, I am going to go out on a limb here and try an alternative method and try to use telepathy to talk with this thing and say that oh, we don't mean him any harm uh, please don't oh, please don't harm us we just want to go out on him okay um, from what I'm aware of, do I, does it require a common language? No, it doesn't require a common language. Um, it's essentially okay. coming back, kill me, kill me, kill me. Oh! Alright, I will try to kill him for my last action. Sorry, I uh, used two actions to do extraneous stuff, but didn't end up paying off. Oh, never mind. That hits. Well, that's a four. I forgot about that. Eleven damage. And... Awesome. All right, exhaustion toggle. Thirteen. Okay, that did damage more than superficial. That cut in. Oh, okay. So superficial damage was. Oh, yeah, that was us going through the SDC. I got it. Okay. All right, that's all my actions. Okay, he is going to. Give you another. Let's see, he can't do a kick. Do one elbow and eight will hit. Mm -hmm. That's seventeen damage. Um, he is going to give you a knee. That's 
that's 13 damage. So 30. I don't know what difference it really makes. And we'll do two punches. Punch, punch. Oh, and that's a critical failure, so... Um, Ooh, thank uh, goodness. One more hit for f 14 damage, and that is the end of his actions. All right. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the bear hug on him. Uh, see if that finishes him off. Okay, you're going to have to separate him from Captain Courage first. Oh, okay. You'll have um, to uh, make a physical strength check to get him off. Yeah, let me do that first. Just ignore that one. Uh, go to main. Physical strength. Uh, 19. Oh, it's modified 61, so... Yes, they're separated. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to do the bear hug maneuver on him. That's a 10. That will hit. All right. <laughs> All right, I think. Yeah, that crushes him completely. At this time, All right. most of the other cryogenically frozen mutations are um, have awakened and are writhing and wiggling and maybe scratching or hitting at the at the um, glass seal. Um, it, <laughs> it appears that the glass seal is very strong, uh, but you're pretty sure. Sooner or later, something is probably going to get out. Can I just I put out? Uh, can I just put out a telepathic blast, like to broadcast to everyone in the room? Just kind of like, if you want to die, kill you, kill each other. We're we're leaving. Okay. And then I'll just kind of fly up to the balcony where this door is. Yeah, I just uh, climb up the stairs, I guess. Huh? <clears throat> uh, okay, so... And just so you don't miss it, there is, just so you know, another door here. So oh. there's, there's two doors out of this room. Um... They're both locked, like this one was. Uh, which one? What? My my uh. Well, well the, the, Captain Courage one. came to this one. Right, no, probably didn't even see the other one because he didn't take the stairs. Yeah, and I think my character is just focused on following you. So, I think I would. Uh, we will just open this one. Uh, you want me to do the honors? Uh, I will, uh, I will help. So, can we do the whole, uh, take the higher roll? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the door is open. Oh, can I, uh, deactivate, uh, exhaustion? Yes. So there that toggle works together with the there's a there's that tab on your main that says variables. So whatever that variable is set to, if it's toggled on, that will like apply to your character. So there's okay, different. Okay, so levels. I can either I can either untoggle it or just change the exhaustion to not exhaust it. Yep, either one it does the same thing. So okay. So if you leave it. If you leave the toggle on and, and change it to not exhausted on the tab, 
then um, obviously if you change the tab again, it'll apply those modifiers to your character. Right. All right. Double door or single door? Um, let's go to the left. All right. I think only one of us can uh, beat this one down at the at the same time. I don't think there's room for both of us in front of it. I'll um, let you do the honors. All right. Not because you're stronger than me, just because yeah. I'm I'm a nice guy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> all right, that room is open, and. You are in a room with some more of those humming generator things. Oh, crap. Uh, go to the next room and... That these generators might be what's containing all those mutant things. I think it might be a bad idea to destroy them. Uh, so I'm hoping that uh, these guys in here aren't awake. Are they? Are they awake? Though these guys are not awake, so you see the same situation basically, except that these are still all cryogenically frozen. Okay. It We've also got... it also has uh, what appears to be a workbench in the center of the room, um, with a number of surgical and other implements that you don't recognize, and a place for a couple of people to sit at the table and watch or work together or whatever the case may be. Okay. Um, did you want to go... Well, there's two south options and there's a north option. And there's a... And there's a, like a closet door. Which... Um, let's see what's to the south of us. Uh, everybody make a perception skill roll. Okay, let me, I was just going to move my character here. Um, let me get my sheet. Uh, the skills. I don't think I ever succeeded a, percep a perception check. <laughs> me neither. I, I think I'm in the same boat. Um, oh, it's in skills. Boo. Okay, you hear a bunch of glass breaking coming from behind where you came from. All right. Uh, yep. Let's uh, let's go south. South it is. Yeah, let's just try and get the hell out of here. <laughs> it's a double door too. We can both uh, well, we'll we'll both both try to break it down. Yeah. Let me uh, roll strength. Damn these rolls. I can't click on my character. <laughs> okay, there. Oh, I don't know. Something for strength. Don't know if it's a success though. If the VTT is not letting you like move your character, I'm not like counting that against you. No, I'm. Uh, I'm just. There was a. I was gonna double click on my character to bring up the character sheet and there was a D twenty from a roll over top of him. Alright. Forty six. Is that enough to break the door? Uh forty six will break open the door, yes. Alright. Gee doodle. Get out of here. There you go. Those uh, mutants are some other person's problem. <laughs> do the doors, uh, are they like okay. Star Trek doors or do they open in or out? Do they slide open not these. or do they no, swing? No, not these. They're, they're just um, locked research doors. I mean, do, do they open into the wall or do they swing? Is that what you're asking? They, yes. they open into the wall. So. Okay. Can I, like, pull them back so that it looks like they're, uh, that we didn't force them? So that, so that, uh, 
Yeah, so, so that it's not the path we took isn't obvious. It, breaking open a pocket door is a pretty irreversible problem, but you pull it back yeah, to, I mean, we, we open to this a up hilariously like man. In a, to a hilariously ineffectual uh, <laughs> uh, illusion that it wasn't broken. Just like, oh yeah, okay, that's fine. Got it. Sure. Yeah. Good enough. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, and this yeah. door doesn't look right, but those guys don't look right either. Yeah. Um, so you exit south, and you walk into this hallway, and there's blast. I didn't set up this token yet. There's a figure standing at the end of the dark hallway that, as your eyes resolve, you realize is a large muscular humanoid figure um, not necessarily large large like not too much bigger than human size but um, it's a muscular human figure what are the dimensions of this hallway like height wise um, it's about 10 feet tall it's not got a very high ceiling does that mean like uh, my head is touching the ceiling how tall are you again? What's your size I don't category? know. I just know I'm a giant polar bear man. Let me check your... Well, it, it you might not be that giant. It's it's possible... Uh, okay. Your size right, category yeah. 12. So you are pretty big. So, yeah, you're probably pretty close to the ceiling for a size category 12. Uh, okay. Let me make sure this works. Ooh. So you wanna... Wanna... Still not working the way I wanted it to, sorry. Oh, no worries. Game's paused, by the way. Yep, I know. I did that um, because I wanted to get this guy on the board correctly. Oh, okay. And I'm failing. I thought I had this ready to go. Apparently I did not. Oh, come on, man. Attempt number eight. I'm guessing he's there waiting for us. Like, he, he sees us. He's just specifically there to block our path. There we go. You hear a voice from the south end of the hallway. How do you like our collection? Uh, I mean, you gotta get, if you're collecting, you gotta get them all, right? Yeah, have you collected them all yet? <laughs> I mean, even the ugly ones you gotta get if you're, you gotta, if you want a complete collection. What's your favorite type to collect? The ice types, the electric types, the psychic types? <laughs> oh, my normal? favorite. My favorite I think we're normal types. are the bludgeoning type. Unfortunately, I think we're normal types. Yeah, I mean, I, I can, I'm a bludgeoning type. I bludgeon hmm. things to death from time to time. Sure. So, uh, what are the odds you're gonna just let us leave? Uh, you know, um, my master doesn't really particularly prefer my methods, um, but then again, that's true of all of us. He has invested yeah. a lot in you and your 
friends and he doesn't care to see his property destroyed but that's just too fucking boring for me could i offer you a kit kat bar in exchange for letting us walk past or it sounds like we uh we both have the same types of issues with our master and you could just come with me. wider world i'm sure there's a whole lot of uh demand for i don't know you Ooh, you know now that is tempting however the that bar? i think it'd be more fun if i just beat you to death with my nunchucks and he pulls that would be that would be fun and he pulls something out of um, from behind, maybe strapped to his back or something like that. And he starts spinning it around in a weird, blurry way. And Captain Courage goes first. I'm going to stick the Kit Kat bar in my mouth and then get ready to fight. <laughs> there he, is... he doesn't can't be bribed Kit... with candy. There is no better way to get ready to fight <laughs> than I... Good. Right, Captain yeah. Captain Courage dramatically holds out a hand. <laughs> Give me a hear, break. Like, chicken feed, hot Cheetos, or whatever. Give me a break. Give, Give me, me a break. break. Give me break, break me off a piece of that che- Kit Kat bar. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool. That works for me. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes. <laughs> um. Captain Courage is not doing great health wise. So, well, SDC wise. Um, so, I just saw the name <laughs> in, in the combat round. But, uh, uh, but, and it threw me off. But, uh, I'm going to, uh, just not act. And let uh, let Blizzard Bill go ahead, and then do what do what we were doing earlier with him bear hugging and me coming in with my talons afterward. Yeah. Okay. All right. Where is he? I don't um, see where well, he is he's on the gonna map. he's gonna go before you are. He is way down south. So. Okay. Um, in Texas. I think Kit Kats were the wrong tactic. I think you might prefer a pizza party. Yeah, like some pizza. Mm. I mean, I don't know if they had like hot pocket pizza in the vending machine. I assume not. At least if if there was no uh, uh no microwave. Well, there might have been a microwave in there. Oh, this is the wrong scale. I've got my my map set incorrectly. It's given me one foot per per grid square. It's supposed to be five feet per grid square. So um, he is yeah. flipping and two, three, four, springing and leaping off off the walls and what is this speedy boy he sped all the way up to you and I'm trying to see his portrait I don't know if he's a ninja turtle or if he's a his portrait does show him as a ninja turtle Mm -hmm. interesting The answer to that is yes. Um, He is... Oh, no. Yeah, he's going to have some... uh, He's going to have hella defenses, isn't he? Being a turtle and all. Hmm. 
I'm probably a pretty good like artist too. Yeah. Depending on what color his headband is. Yeah, with uh, moves like that, flipping and all that, he probably didn't even need uh, scaffolding to paint the Sistine Chapel. Exactly. <laughs> okay, and some incoming shuriken on the way in that all bounced harmlessly away. <laughs> and he is going to kick attack on Blizzard Bill. Puts us at three... And he will hit with an 18, and you can... Can I, um, dodge or block? You can do whatever counter you want if you want to. You need to be reminded on how to do that. On your combat tab, um, towards the top, there's D20 defenses. And there's, there's quite a few of them, but you're probably looking for dodge or parry, most likely. Yeah, I'll and do I, I parry. Assume you're, I assume you're just going to do whichever one's higher, so... They're both the same. Oh, okay, cool. Some later, sometimes one gets higher than the other, and blah blah. Yeah. But something you should know about Palladium is that um, that's gonna still hit. So, oh, that's not cutting damage. That's bludgeoning damage. But um, at any rate, it doesn't matter too much right now. So that's ten damage, and no, it's not. That's the wrong damage modifier again. I swear. Did I, did I uh, dodge him? Or parry? Sorry. Uh, no, that's a failed parry. Oh, shit. Fourteen doesn't parry the the eighteen, and I've got the wrong damage modifier. So just um, change that to six. Okay, so that's actually fourteen damage, not ten. And I'm gonna get the right modifiers on him real quick. Bear with me. Four actions. Um, let's go ahead and try a body flip on Captain Courage. He is going to do a body throw on Captain Courage, <laughs> hitting a Thank 27. You. And you can attempt to counter that if you wish. Sure. Why not? Oh, I mean, man. because I can't, because I physically can't, is why not. I've got plus five to that, and so that's a max of 25 I can roll. Imagine what legends okay. will be if you... we kick the crap out of one of the Ninja Turtles. You could get the, uh, you could get it if you rolled a natural twenty, just so you know. But otherwise, there's no other way to get that roll. I mean, there's there's I I for one <laughs> all my actions this turn, so I might as well, right? So, that's gonna send you. Hey! Nowhere. Nowhere. Because, because <laughs> you rolled a critical success on your dodge, and. You better back it. off, bud. That was one hundred percent skill. Yeah. See, we got this. We can kill one of the Ninja Turtles and screw up the Ninja Turtle timeline. It's a hundred percent reason to remember the name. Blizzard Bill, your turn. Um, I'm gonna bear hug him, and I, I does the bear hug thing also grab him or whatever? Uh, it's technically a separate action if you want to continue the grapple. So. Um, you'll do the attack and then you'll roll a grapple if you want to if you want to hold him down Okay, yeah, I'll do that that way. Um, you can't move and do stuff All Right, so see if I get him with the Two attack action uh, That will hit um, Okay, and he has one move left, and he is going to dodge that. And that is a successful dodge. So that leaves you, I believe, with one action. I'm going to try and grab him then. Okay. That was a strength, or...? It's grapple. Um, there, <clears throat> there's an attack roll. 
or there should be near somewhere near your bear hug that just says melee grapple. And if it's um, there, I will put it there. I don't see it. There you go. Okay. Um. Okay, that is grappled, and you can go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Which actually, you don't even have to roll. I just can't remember. It just does one damage. Plus 27. Okay, so plus 27 for a total of 28. Oh, he's pinned down now. You use your chicken wings to tear his guts out. (laughs) Um, you can see him up close now. This is a mutated turtle, and you're you're getting the hard outer shell right now. So you've got kind of a what's the word I'm looking for? A little bit of a um, purchase on on the shell here. So. Um, yeah. It's Captain Courage's turn. And I don't think you lost any actions this turn. I think you, uh, for this round, didn't you hold them all? And then he tried to body flip you and failed. And so I think you've still got all three actions for round one. And when we flip over to round two, it'll be your turn again. So you have six actions. Yeah, and he's pinned. Like, I'm holding him, you know, from behind. Nice. Well, uh, wouldn't I have five because I I did a dodge? Right, okay, so two this round and then three next round. So that's only important because his his actions are going to reset when we flip back over to your initiative. All right, I'm just going to do... Uh, call it uh, let, let's go all out let's do five uh, talent attacks hell yeah brother okay just do two at first and then I'm 100% gonna die but <laughs> yeah, I gotta this is how legends are made it... man there's one and there's another one I'm guessing that fails because I'm guessing he's got some sort of armor. They both hit the armor. Go ahead and roll damage. Mm. So palladium, you you um, if you don't overcome the armor, you do damage to the armor. So that's a total of thirty six, which means you have broken his shell. And. You did a little bit of superficial damage to the soft meat. Why did you come out of your shell, bucko? Yeah, bucko. Okay, next round. Let me flip it over to the next round. Assuming, can he do anything when he's grappled like that? Because I might be boned if you... He can do things. I don't know why it re-rolled your initiative, but the order didn't change. Right. Yeah, no worries. That's strange. All right. I'm not quite sure why. Let's that. uh, let's waste all of my uh, any chance of reacting to hopefully get him most of the way down. Yep. That's three hits, right? Uh, yes, and he is going to, um, he is going to do an escape artist roll. Um, so Blizzard has to make a strength check to hold him, and you have to beat a 27. I don't think that's going to be hard. (laughs) This is 
do this. So you basically 20 have to not two. roll a one. You're good. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, roll the first damage for the talon. Okay. Um sixteen. Okay. And he is just surprisingly nimble and limber. Um, his escape artist abilities are surprising. He is trying. So, um, you have to make a roll versus strength again to hold him. This one's going to be a little harder. Okay. With a heroic success. Oh, you're good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Damage again. Bear beats turtle. I'm assuming this character, since he's one of the turtles from the show, he's going to be kind of hard to kill. Like, he's a high-level guy, and we're just beating the crap out of him. Yeah, I until he gets we'll one out. good hit. Until he gets one good hit in. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. And on your third one, he's going to try a dodge. And the third roll, i got to go back to look. 12 and 12, so you hit. So, roll damage on the third roll. 14, okie dokie. I'm guessing we, like, uh, we have no way of knowing that he's a uh, protagonist of something, so we have no reason to think he might be mind-controlled or anything, right? Um, yeah, I mean, he's not a protagonist to you from your perspective. Yeah, it's right. Just, uh, you know, it's a certain point of view, like uh, Obi Wan Kenobi said, right? Mm -hmm. When he lied, yes. <laughs> <laughs> One more attempt at escape, and go ahead and roll strength. Okay. Okay, but I think he has used up all your actions now. Um, and I think you've used up all of his except for one more. He's got one more left. I don't know what he's going to do now. We almost got him to half health. Assuming he only has one health bar. Oh, there's more health bars? Uh, who knows? Uh, there's basically SDC and hit points. Um, if you have armor, which he did, that's sort of a third health bar. Not exactly, but kind of sort of. And, um, okay. That has been that has been disabled. So his natural armor has has become not usable, not not viable. Uh, he is going to try to work a sword into your flank. That Which you, one of us? Bill, because Bill's okay. the one who's got him. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure I did the one that cost two and then I grappled him so I'm pretty sure that'll just hit me okay then that is gonna do a total of 18 damage okay is there anything I need to put or do you got it I can get it for you okay Oh, what did he roll? You've got natural armor. Okay, so 
Yeah, E rolled higher than your armor, which means it goes straight to your SDC. Nope. I mean, bears are known to, like, take shotguns to the face. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. So, I think that has used up all your actions. So, I think it is... Chickens are also known to take uh, shotguns to the face, but they don't. But it, I don't think it doesn't I've made end an very well. Yet, though, <laughs> Unless to me holding him grappled, Whoops. which is me using an action. I, yeah, I think yeah, um, those those physical strength checks were actions. Yes. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so I just gotta hold him, and you gotta kill him. Quickly. For example, <laughs> I will do my darndest. I kill him! Kill him! He's stabbing me! Uh, right, three Captain, more talent. Captain Courage, it's your turn. One, two. This is just a vicious cockfight. Oh, uh, that was a natural one. Mm. Yes, it was. That will put you on your ass, and you. Oh. So, do I not get a chance to do the other two? Yep, you drop those actions, so, um, unfortunately... Oh, so I just don't get any more actions this round? Right, that is correct. <laughs> well, <laughs> so much for that. Kill him! Uh, so much for that. <laughs> I was like, you freaking out. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you know, it's like you're, you're fighting a giant raid boss on the highest difficulty, and you're you're like freaking out. It's like no, 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 no don't, don't jump in the fire. <laughs> you're just like, <laughs> I'm just uh, like, everything's going on, and just uh, I try to attack him, and just my foot goes ar awry, and I just exclaim, <laughs> do like a frightened chicken sound. <laughs> all right well then am i prone is there like a prone yeah, toggle yeah. or something it's already toggled so uh you will oh um you will well yeah you're good you're good i'll let you know so let me see if i can escape How does the grapple attack work? Like, dude, would I just roll that instead of um, strength, or how does it work? Or is the grapple that the only thing attack grapple? is an attack, so it means like that is like you have to hit with it. But once, like, you've got him grappled right now, he's trying to escape, but you've he hasn't managed to do so yet. Meaning that you don't have to attack you know you you don't have to like hit him again to maintain your grapple you just have to hold him and prevent him from escaping yeah i was just wondering it did like passive damage or something no it doesn't do any passive damage oh, okay so you can um when when he's trying to escape um you can roll your strength check and just about the only way to not get it is to roll a one unless he gets a really good roll and um, that uses an action um, you can also um, if there's something else you want to try you can we can you know figure out if you want to like try to just finish the bear hug and and do some damage and let him out yeah you can try that too but um, I feel like he's more dangerous if he's able to do all his stuff. I would probably assume that was correct. If I were a player in this game and that was what hit me, I would probably say, hold that motherfucker still. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I think it's the turtle's turn. I can't tell what color his headband is. Oh. The headband colors I was kind of trying to de-emphasize, but you only get so much control over an AI image generator, and it was, and I can I can do a lot in Photoshop after I'm done, 
but um, I did kind of push it over to orange a little bit. Um, but I was I was actually thinking just to make all the headbands just kind of like dirty, greasy kind of looking headbands um, and almost indistinguishable. So I thought that kind of worked in that regard. Oh, okay. I was wondering if it was like one of the turtles from the show. Well, um, I mean, they're the, they're sort of the turtles from the show, but not really. <laughs> gotcha. So, um, All right. Um, it's Turtle's turn, right? Well, he rolled Escape Artist. He got an, a successful roll, so if you want to continue to hold him, you oh, will yeah, need I'm a him. physical strength check. Okay, then that is second move is a failure, so you don't have to do anything. Third move is a failure, so you don't have to do anything. Fourth move is a failure, so you don't have to do anything. Oh, what was he trying to do? He's trying to escape. Oh, nice. <laughs> fifth, fifth move is a failure, so you don't have to do anything. You might actually be able to squeeze him. Sixth move is a legendary success. Critical oh, success. The only boo. way you can hold him is to roll a 20 on your strength check. So you can um, use an action and roll your strength check if you want to take the chance that you'll roll a 20. Or you can just let him go and... Save. I mean, he just wasted all his moves, though, right? Yeah, that's his last move. The last I'll one. I'll just let him go. The last one. That way I can then... save an action. And grab him again. <laughs> yeah, and just grapple him again. Oh, nice! Bump. <laughs> all right, then it is, uh, it is time for Blizzard Bill. <laughs> so go ahead. All right, I am going to... Uh, grapple him. Try and grapple him again. Did I roll? Did I do that? I did that. Sorry. Okay, well, that's grapple, fine. melee. Your melee grapple hits. And um, go ahead and roll the damage on your grapple. It's just 1 plus 20. I think. Yeah. So that does like 27 damage when I grapple him? 28. So one oh, from wow. the grapple and then 27 from physical strength. Did I roll it? Yep. Okay. And then so I'm the only reason do... you need to click on that is because I, I can't really remember that you've got a plus 27 on your damage. So it's yeah. And then I'm going it. to try and do the melee crushing to attack action on him. Okay. I guess since I'm holding him, maybe it's just me like biting, trying to bite off his head or something. <laughs> yep. Seven. Yep. Does that get him? Yep. Yep. That hits. So two and ten and then plus whatever else, right? Okay, that actually cut into the quick. So now he's got a little blood coming out of his mouth that he spits in your face. All right. oh, get him, get him, Courage! Captain Courage ah. is next, and you can use one action to get up from prone, I assume. You don't have to, but... Um... I will, yes. And then two actions to Talon attack. Assuming I don't roll another nat one. Okay. Oh, that right. was close. Yep. He is going to... Attempt to parry on that one. And he succeeds. Okay, that first one is going to parry. Alright, so one more. Ooh! Ouch! Okay. Um, I guess he might as well let that one through. Because he can only parry it with a natural 20. 
so. Does it uh, do double damage or something on a on a net, or is it just it's harder to block? It's harder to block, and it should do two d six plus fourteen damage. Just roll another d six. Uh. One. Okay, so, so seventeen. Got it. All right. That is, in fact, cutting into the soft meat. I'm going to check something real quick on your character sheet and just see. Looks like his health bar is gone. It's well, that was his SDC health bar. Okay. Well, the bottom one was. I think the top one was. Just keep rolling this until I get a critical hit to try to test it. I guess I do. Okay. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get a critical to see if the um, the critical hit uh, multiplier is doing what it should. But I'm not going to sit here and roll until it gets critical. I'll just let it be. It's not like it's that hard to roll another d6, but um, I'm kind of into having these character sheets do what they're supposed to do. <laughs> right. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. So, I, and I guess this character sheet isn't supposed to do anything in particular, considering that it's a um, it's a generic, so... Um, right. I think he is going to give up on trying to escape and just start slashing at Blizzard. So prepare for some sorting. Oh, okay. Uh, Seven, I'm pretty sure it hits me. I, 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 I used up all my dodges. Thou hast been seven. That's 19 damage. But didn't you... I think you used up your dodges in the previous round. I think you've got them back now. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll dodge then. Um, how many dodges do I have? Like two or something? Uh, you have as many as you have actions. All that stuff is in action, so you've got three. So that would be three. Okay. How the many times did he attack me three times? He only attacked once so far. Okay. That is not a successful dodge, and that will do 19 damage. All right. And this is... You need to edit my health bar, let me know. Twenty-three will hit, and you may dodge or parry if you wish. Uh, I'll try and parry this time. It'll be cooler if I just catch his sword. Okay, that's a negative, and that's going to do 17 damage. check and see if he has death blow yet. I don't think he does. Uh-oh. But I am going that doesn't sound good. to try it if he has it. I don't think he has it yet. 
Well, the cool thing about your character dying is you get to make a new one, so... Yep, he doesn't have death flow yet, so... We will just... Keep sorting. I know you may be thinking, uh, where's that? So that's an 11 for 15 damage. I could and probably parry that. Okay. Yep, that's parried. Yep, I just and catch a sword. Whose turn is it now? He's got one more. Okay. Now he's going to try the escape artist. That is a success. He has escaped, and it is Captain Kerr's turn. Uh, now it's now it's going to be hard to hit. Isn't he? Um, I mean, be... you could grapple him too, right? He can, <laughs> yeah. Everybody can grapple, basically. That's a pretty basic move. You don't have to be trained in any way, so... Um, you so got high strength. Just a reminder, you are untrained in any hand-to-hand -hand combat, and right now you're fighting a character that is trained in ninjutsu. So. What am I trained in? Nothing. Uh, uh, so Combat-wise, combat wise, nobody is trained. It, none of the I PCs gotcha. are trained in... Because they're not going to train you in combat. Gotcha. Okay. I'm just assuming I'm really strong, then. Yes. It's all natural ability that, that you're, you're just working off raw ability here. Well... You just gotta hit seeing him one how or he two just, times. Seeing how he just shipped you a couple times, uh, when he, I, I don't think I could survive that. Um, you never know unless you try. <laughs> uh, Besides, I think I'm. Dream. Oh, I'm because the the less and less SDC I have, the more I dealt that. Um, I. I'm going to do talent attacks. Less likely to hit, but uh, I, I got it's, I, I don't think I could uh, grapple with this balance or and come out alive. All right, that's twelve. Uh, he is going to dodge. No, parry. Can't you just use all his moves on me, though? Or am I forgetting something? We flip to the next round. When Captain Courage, oh, okay. Captain Courage is at the top of the round, so... Oh, so once it goes a complete circle, everybody got their things again. Got it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then I have no chance of touching this fella. Um... That's not necessarily true. But it's also pretty likely. Yeah. Don't worry, we got this. Alright. Let's do this. Eh, 20. Not impossible, he'll fail. And another parry. 20. Yeah, but, but I am not that lucky. Uh, I mean, you have to drain his actions, too, so... That's part. Yeah. Of, that's part of the whole meta in in Palladium. So right. if you drain all his stuff, I could probably have an easier time hitting him. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't think I, I know that I'm not gonna have a good time hitting him, but I also know that when he's attacking me, I'm not gonna be able to block him. So I might as well just use everything on attacks. Oh, <laughs> and I'm on my butt again. <laughs> well, however, at least you didn't lose any any moves. Yeah. Okay. This is just embarrassing. Uh, Michelangelo is going to disengage and he asks you did you ask the librarian about the language? Yes. Oh, that was a dream we had. That wasn't real. I mean, yes. I mean, no. It was a dream. Well, he said, we are a united front. <laughs> and what did she say when you asked her about uh, the language? Sumerian? Something like that? Yeah, some Sumerian dialect. And then it opened all the doors for us so we could escape. Boo-boo. <laughs> Did you ask her why? Uh, no. I, uh, I, I, I think I'd, I might have. Uh, it, it doesn't have some, like, mystical power to it or something like that? The language is... Um, he's telling you this. It's a language of command and it takes it takes on direct access to your brain in a sense that is different than other languages and for those who can do it well it's like essentially mind control and you can be very if you are if you are being suggested by this, it, it can be very much a uh, um, a commanding language. So it's using pathways that were built into your brain when you were made to control you. Are you saying we are being controlled? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir. What about you? Yeah, same. Mm. <laughs> well, at least they don't... Right at least now? we're not... I mean, if we're having this conversation, uh, and being all peaceful, maybe we can just leave now? At least we're not controlled enough that they uh, don't trust us with weapons. I mean, you must be really under the thumb if we're trusting you to have training in weapons. That, that must suck. <laughs> um, and with that, he wipes some of the blood off of his mouth and spits a tooth out and he <laughs> and back flips away back flips away <laughs> it's like we were in one of those fights in an RPG where you're supposed to lose but like we did so well that we got like the secret kind of like one where we actually won. <laughs> you, you got the secret ending <laughs> yes and we're still going to wake up in the cell. Yeah. Whoa. Like, like they didn't script that far out. It's like, yeah, they got the Easter egg, but it's still going to fade to black. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's, let's try and uh, exit the hallway before it fades to black. Uh... Let's do it. Go. Run, run, run. We're just running, and then it's just, it fades. It starts fading. Okay. 
Um, so you guys are going to run to the south end and exit down the, uh, out the south end? Yeah. Yep. Okay, um, I'm going to pause there, and um, I'm not... Um, I'm not sure, maybe 10 minutes, 10 minute break or so, just to take a bio break and get a snack real quick. I think that should be All right. Yeah, yeah, I need cool. to use the restroom too, so be right back. All right, I'll be back in just a few minutes here. Sounds good. Make it a microphone check, give it a microphone, I make them make it a microphone dead Don't step to me newbie, I could truly be moody I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies I've been a part-time shadow cat, part-time That is not a guy that I would ever want to try to battle rap Snap, crackle, pop, mind fried to a crisp Make an MC into a wide-eyed lunatic
it up. <laughs> Try to battle rap Snap, crackle, pop, mind fried to a crisp Make an MC into a wide-eyed lunatic Hello, if anyone's back, I'm back. I'm here. I'm back. Hello. Hello. Are we all back, or just waiting for Thor? I'm back. I think everybody's back. Yeah, we're back. back. So, I 
never actually clicked start event on my Discord channel, <laughs> which uh, doesn't really matter, but, you know, it's not a bad idea. I'll assume yeah. you got up from Chrome, too. And we're almost free, I have a feeling. Um, so, when we left off, I believe you guys were heading south, and um, are you going right through the hallway, through the south exit, to the next room? Yeah, I want to see what's past there. Okay. Um, this room is... Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I just need to find your tokens. All right. There we go. Um, Looks like there's a bunch of plants. This is hydroponics, and there's um, this is a grow facility. So there's a lot of different decorative as well as food plants in here. Does, uh, how do we heal in this game, by the way? Um, there's basically, um, in, in this game literally is, uh, I'm gonna be hand-waving it more or less, and you'll just heal between sessions, but um, in Palladium there's basically rest and medical attention and that's really about it and you you get like a heal factor of how much SDC and hit points you can heal back from resting. Okay. We should be good as long as we don't run into anything. There's an occasional um, spray that's automated, and it will spray the waters with plants. Uh, I'm sorry, spray the plants with water slash feed um, every so often. So. All right. Mm, courage. Did you want to walk on past here? There's any uh, any fruits and vegetables we want to collect. Uh, no, not a. Healthy food kind of guy. Yeah, me neither. I always <laughs> like eating meat myself. Ah, that's healthy enough. Alright, well... I guess we'll just skip this room. I mean, we're trying to find the exit to the... the place. Okay. There's another, um exit on the opposite side of the room where you came in at and there's another level beneath this like where you just walked over is mm -hmm. um, if you had literally done that you would have fallen down to the level beneath okay I'm not taking it too literally I'm, I'm assuming that you didn't just because you moved your token there that you were like oops I fell over the railing and down to the floor beneath Oh, no. I, I didn't know that was a railing or not. Um, I, I was just thinking I was going around. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to find the, the way to the next room, because uh, there's a bunch of plants here. There's no stakes. These are true facts. Um, on this side of the room, um, there's there's a higher level um, that you can climb up to on these stairs and that exits to another room to the left and then there's a lower level that exits to another room to the left. Do we want to go up or do we want to go down? Well, I figure this is the easiest time that if we if we have to go down later we'll have gravity to help us. If we have to go up later, then we'll have to fight gravity. So I think start up. 
All right, let's go up. So we're gonna go upstairs, I guess. Uh, where's my guy? So, go up here, right? Uh, Captain Courage yep. doesn't have to even go up the stairs, he can just fly. Captain Courage can just fly. This is a high ceiling room with plenty of room to fly. Yeah. So I guess we're going upstairs. I'm assuming I'm a bear, I could like climb down and stuff as well. End up being on the kind of the top of a building. Okay. Oh. Oh, uh, you come out in a small rectangular room with a locked door to the north, and there's a handprint identification um, panel next to the locked door. Uh, I put my palm on the panel. It turns red and, and goes meh, and there's nothing nothing else. It doesn't do anything else. Alright, I'm gonna rip open the door like the Kool-Aid man then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's Oh, it, that's going to be the go-to strategy for uh, for this pair. <laughs> uh, no, I figured I'd just check. Right? Got a 17. What, that would be okay. a huge twist if that worked. That'd be like a... Um, that'd be a just a narrative. Like, maybe I don't remember coming in this room before, and actually I can't right. through here. Um, like maybe you're the maybe you were the big bad the whole time. <laughs> you and the you I and the DM know. are working together. Oh, what's that game uh, where it's like in space and you have like you're the CEO and you have the weird parasite on you or something? I forget. I don't know. The new one. Sounds the like new fun. one that came out. Yeah. Okay, Did um, I break open the door? So you rip open the door and you see an office space on the other side. It's not a huge space, but there's some servers and some computers and um, just a few different office chairs. And after a moment, the handprint identification blinks green and goes ding! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, is there any notes here? Is the computer, like, already on? Do we need to input a password? Um, I don't think you guys know Wasn't how this... to... Wasn't this... Wasn't this taking place in, like, the 80s or something? Well, um, you guys don't really know um, anything about that, but the answer is yes. The year is 1983. Okay. So, just all technology is beyond us, not just what yeah. would be, what is beyond 80s technology. Yeah, it's like, oh, what's this weird yeah, there's, box thing? You know, if you guys were in the know, you would definitely be wondering about some of this technology. Like yeah. definitely. Can we like read? Uh, you can read a, in English, and you can read in Sumerian, but yeah. um, you can't automatically operate a computer. There, if you have computer operation skills, it'll be on your list of skills. Which, can I read what's on the screen? Um, the screen is sitting at some like you recognize the letters and words, but it's just nonsense as far as you can tell it's like some kind of computer code okay what's this goal here i'm sorry what was that uh sitting on the table in the middle of the room is that something on it uh yes like, it yeah appears to be conference call device <laughs> um it appears to be a box you can't tell the three-dimensionality of it from the overhead view but um, it's got it's a glass case with a big clay tablet inside. Ooh! And so this is this isn't uh, 
This isn't a table, this is a box, huh? Well, um, this part of it is the box. This, right, no, that didn't work the very clay well. clay tablet. That's, that's um... white on white. And the, um, the clay tablet has Sumerian writing on it that um, you're not sure quite what it means. I would like to... My bad, sorry. Is there like a, is there like a, can we roll language unknown to decipher it? Oh, you don't, you don't have to roll anything to decipher it. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying to circle the object and it, it won't let me change color. I'm sorry. Um, is it my yeah, it's just the black thing with two green lights, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to circle. And yeah, we know like, what it is. It's like not letting me do that. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so the outer text is um, the text on the surface. It says to the effect of um, the finders of this object do not open the envelope. Um, what's the words I'm looking for? It's so hard to translate. It seems to be a warning. So it's like it's saying not to open this envelope. Or bad, Meanwhile, things, um, bad things will happen, and then that's as far as you can get with it. Well, I don't think we're the. I don't think we're the original finders. I think the original finders were the were the like uh, the people who run this place. Yeah, oh, they can open case. the envelope, so we can. Open right, the envelope, we're we're right? totally allowed to open the envelope. Yeah, low IQ here. <laughs> low IQ reasoning. Let's open the envelope. Woo! Doing it. Smashing glass, taking out the envelope, and opening it. Well, it's yeah, not immediately inside? apparent how to open it anyway, but um, it doesn't appear to be obviously a container. Um. It appears to be a clay slab with writing on it. Oh, uh, okay. Um, uh, although it is, I mean, it's thick enough that something else could be inside it. Um, you could smash it if you want to and see if anything's inside it. I mean, should we copy what it says on a piece of paper? Um, I mean, for as far as opening it up, uh... We don't have, like, uh... We didn't end up picking up scalpels, did we? No, we didn't. I think we did. Yeah, I was assuming you did. Okay. Or... Yeah, we can, uh... Bone saws or whatever. Yeah, we can try to cut into it with, uh... A, a, uh... Implement that is more precise than just smashing it against a wall. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you do that. You're probably yep. a bit more precise than me. Uh, what is your... I think it's uh, physical prowess. Is that the right thing? My prowess is 17. What's yours? 23. Yeah, you should do it. Uh, righty then. I, I'm just assuming that physical prowess is mm. the right. Okay, you... um kind of get the bone saw under, by dumb luck, kind of under the right tab, which wasn't apparent until it got under there, which then pops open and um, the main tablet will slide right out now from the little pocket that it's in. Bingo. And what does it say? Uh... It says, roll versus insanity. <laughs> oh, nice. yeah, baby. That is going to... Do we use need to roll it? Uh, I'm not assuming that Blizzard Bill is directly reading it, so... Um, oh, okay. I don't think Blizzard Bill needs to roll it right now. Okay, so... 21. At the top of the... Um, like the header of, of this document says the Namshub of Enki and it 
occurs to you that it's a very, very bad idea to read whatever this thing is, and you quickly slide it back in and reseal it. <laughs> I'm assuming that's, uh, I failed, uh, or at least, uh, didn't totally succeed, um, and that was a, a kindness, uh, like, instead of making me go insane, you're not going to let me go further, right? So it it isn't something that I can I would like, assume you actually what? succeeded, and that's why you didn't read it. That is the <laughs> correct answer. It's because you succeeded, and you realized that it's a bad idea to read it. Oh, okay. Then, do, you mind if, do you mind if I try to read it? Uh, that seems like a bad idea. It's going to be a bad idea for anybody who knows this language to read the tablet. I feel yeah. like we like the term Namshov came up last session. Yes, it did. I'm trying to remember what uh, in what context it did. Just hoping maybe I fail my uh, insanity check so I know what it says. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't really know. Well, well, you, you wouldn't really know what it says, like on a conscious level, anyway. Your brain would shut down, and it would have roughly the same effect as a, a lobotomy, and you would oh, okay. you would pretty much just lose control of your um, character, like like your character would lose control of his faculties and his ability to think rationally. And gotcha. Okay. And that's just essentially the end of your character. <laughs> Gotcha. It just uh kills you right away. Gotcha. Well, no, it doesn't technically kill you, but it's the end of you role playing your character. <laughs> yeah, no. And then it, then your character becomes the domain of the DM. Um, yeah. is well, maybe we should just destroy it. Uh, I mean, do we have anything we could set it on fire to? Uh, clay doesn't really a, burn exactly. Yeah. That's why, yeah, is... um, in fact, that's one of the reasons that it survived the ancient world is because of its resilience. So one of the reasons that we have ancient writings from um, Sumeria, um, which is modern day Iran, Iraq, is because they used clay from the Tigris and the Euphrates River um, versus, like, for example, Egypt used papyrus, which is more like paper, and we have none of their main writings left. Now, we know what they wrote on the walls, but that's not, that's more propaganda than, you know, it's not like their daily business transactions and news and recipes and, yeah. and journals and stuff. So, and then with um, China, it's the same thing. Their, their writing was all on paper um, from that, you know, from six, when you're talking about four, five, six thousand years ago, um, all the records are gone. So, uh, just yeah. with one exception being um, Sumeria and later Assyria because of that tendency to write on clay and then bake it in the sun. So, um, so anyway, the point being is that it's it's here because it's so resilient and resistant to fire and corrosion and damage and stuff. All right, here's here's my proposal. We go back to the hydroponics area. We chuck this off the balcony and break into a bunch of break it into a bunch of small pieces. Take those small pieces and put them in the water in the hydroponics area. And just, uh, yeah. That's a good, good idea. Do our best to destroy it as thoroughly as possible. Alrighty, if that's how you want to do it, we can do that. Um, not much thought is going into this because not much thought is coming out of Captain Courage. <laughs> Neither is it coming out of Blizzard Bill. Um, I would say, so, shattering it isn't necessarily a problem. Um, the problem is what happens when you, after you throw it on the, whatever it is you're dashing it against, 
then what? Like, you're going to pick up the pieces and put them in water, or... That was the plan. Pick up the pieces, and if there's any that are bigger than, uh, bigger than, like, well, uh, if there's any that are particularly large and have particular amount of context in the writing contained thereon, um, break it more. Right, and, and how would you know if they're bigger and have more context? I mean, like, you By don't what? have to read read something to know that there's, like, uh, to know, like, that there's a uh, poster on the wall, wall across the room from you that has, like, a slogan on it. You can kind of, you can kind of tell how many words there are without looking close enough at, to read. Alternatively, um, we could keep it and just keep it secret and keep it safe because it might have a use for something later on. That's true, but it also obviously means a lot to these people who don't like us. Yeah, and it'd be, they'd be pissed off if we had it. And they, we already woke up in our rooms once before. And they shuffled the whole area. <laughs> they shuffled the whole base, uh, so the chances of us finding it again are not great, in my opinion. Alright. I'm gonna go exit this room. Okay, there's only one exit, and that's the way you came in. Yeah, we can figure out what to do with this uh, tablet later. Okay. Uh, so we just want to go down now. So you don't you don't want to destroy it? Uh, I think it could have a use later. Like you know, it's like you know, like in those video games, it's like oh, collect the seven. <laughs> Maybe it's a quest item. You know, who knows? <laughs> it's the seven chaos emeralds. You need them all <laughs> to unlock the door. Right. Well, I mean... You never know when you're finding a quest item. <laughs> uh, well, other than trying to destroy it, and then the it won't let you take it out of your inventory. <laughs> True. Uh, okay, I guess, I'll, I guess we're taking this with us. Yeah, and as long as they don't have it, I mean, that's fine. We just, we know better not to read it. All right. Well, if we get in a fight that it seems to be over our head, I guess the least we can do is threaten the threaten the tablet, and they will yeah. want to protect it, hopefully. Yep. All right, let's do this thing. Just uh, go down now, downstairs. Yeah. And then, that is. are you going to use this exit over here, then? That's yeah. the plan. Okay. This in fact brings you back to um, a room that you were in before the advanced research lab so let's go ahead and put you at the entrance oh so um, ignore the we got kind of a turn to the side here so um, the north-south orientation is just from a turn in an unseen hallway. <laughs> We're going to do it that way. Right. Um, I, I can't remember how you opened these doors. It seems like you broke the first one. Yeah, we broke them, I believe. You didn't then... break all of them. You yeah, did... we broke this first one, and then these ones were all left open due to the computer... And then we had we asked the computer to just leave all the doors open that would lead us the way out and keep the ones closed that would not be the correct direction. Yeah, and it was telling you that the north exit is what you're looking for, I think. Which is, right. that's where you're walking in now. So this door is still broken with your same claw marks. And this door, if you broke this one open too, this one is still open as well. Hmm. 
Do you think we should head uh, to the north exit then? Do you think we're going the, the wrong way, Captain Courage? Well, they shuffled all the rooms, apparently. Um, so I think we should ask the, uh, see it, well, check and see if we have, ac if we can access the librarian and get an updated, uh, uh, get an updated map quest okay. out of here. Okay, I guess we head over to the library. Just kind of checking doorways and all that stuff. Okay, I think... These doors are open too, right? I think starting with this door, this would be the first one that will be intact again. So you uh, have because... to... Okay, well, I'll open them up. Um... Strengths. this an open door. Do I have to open up this one too? Mm-hmm. Okay. They will all have to be opened manually, so to speak. Anything that you want. So, I'll just figure once they're open, they're open. You go, Blizzard Bill. Yeah. Uh, seven. I jumped the gun a little bit. I think you got one more. Yeah, I think it's going to open, though. Unless I get a crit fail. Don't tempt fate. Don't yeah. tempt fate. Uh, Just kind of put my head in and see if there's any goons. Uh, no. Um, make a perception check. Uh, all right. That's a me. Um, Blizzard Bill can detect some traces of the battle that sort of run through this hallway, um, like some. It appears it's been cleaned up, but there's still a few little bits of um, residual blood that have been visual cleaned up but you can still smell them and there's a couple little bits of their clothing <sighs> okay is the um, uh, li librarian hologram still up these these doors are locked all right i'll open those doors too okay two more checks all right i'll just roll twice probably a good idea 11. Okay, you're all good. There we go. All's good in the hood. Okay, in this room is, along with an intact librarian, um, there is another one of those turtles. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Just turn around and start walking away. Nope, not today. Now, hold on just a second there. <laughs> Cutscene begins. All right. Uh, the librarian hologram is up and running, and it welcomes you. Welcome, Blizzard Bill and Captain Courage, guest of Raphael. And um, is there anything you want to say or do? How do we get out of here? Or do you just want to run? Um, I'm just going to ask before we run. How do we get out of here? They seem to have shuffled the rooms around. Raphael, uh, it starts with the same answer that I gave you the last time and Raphael tells you it's an automaton, you're asking it the wrong question. 
it's telling you how to get out of the advanced research facility, not not the entire lab. Uh, oh, thank you. How do we you're how, how do we get out of this uh facility? The of uh, this this base. It doesn't know. You can't get out. There's no escape. You're so much more helpful than your your buddy. Are you a friendly uh, turtle? No, definitely okay. not friendly. Can we convince you right. to be a friendly turtle? Uh, just, just he doesn't want to be friendly. Let's just give him his space and uh, go on our merry way. You have a good day, Raphael. It's a great name, by the way. Yeah, later. He just we're kinda... just gonna go now because we, um, we're kind of hurt. He's giving don't... you a look. Uh, at... if... That seems to indicate that he knows something that you don't. <laughs> I'm he, sure he knows most of what he knows, we know. Um, you turn around and you see another of these guys behind you when you, oh, when you turn around. And this one is huge. Like, huge. You can't imagine somebody being this huge without being obese, but he is not obese. He is just ripped cord muscles and um, nothing but the most um, massive, massively jacked mountain of muscles that ever were. So... All right, so you guys definitely have us outmatched. And that is not in question. He's in blue. This guy is in red. We we, I accept that one hundred percent. We're outmatched, so there's no hurry. There's no trying to trying to outmaneuver you guys. We we met your your buddy. It didn't go great for us. It didn't uh, but go we great learned. for him either. I mean, I almost bit right. his head off, but... But, uh, but there's two of you. And uh, so I'm just curious about a couple things. Who's your boss? Hey, Leonard. Uh, what you doing there? Our master. I'm uh, if he gets if he takes that last step, I'm gonna uh, pull out the tablet and get, wind up to smash it against a corner or something. If you do that, he just laughs. But he says, "Our our master is known." to most as Mercurio, but we know him as Splinter. Mm, and sure. He started this facility 17 years ago. He started, Why? He was trying to create a perfect warrior, a perfect mutant. Then why are we here? Same reason. But, what if we were I to mean, work together? Maybe this is just a huge misunderstanding. We already do work together. It is a misunderstanding. You're just not aware oh. of it yet. I uh, worked uh, intrigued. Well, how can we be of help? Help. Help, you say? Uh, I mean, we sure. be encourage like smashing things. That's true. We do. Why don't you try? 
asking the librarian to read that clay slab of yours. Uh, Carefully. With it. Yeah, it's just if we read it, right? It's bad. And make sure she translates it to English. Sure. That is a great... That's a great idea. Um, yeah, let's do it. It won't have the same effect translated to English. It's safe. What's, what's English? But, okay, English never mind. is the language we're speaking right now. Ah. Uh, so just normal. Okay. Um, normal. Yes. Uh, sure. Hey, librarian. I am first of all in over 650 forms of communication. Anything you wish yeah. to have translated, I am at your service. Sure. Uh, I've got a clay slab here um, that is uh, what I would love to have translated to. You said it was English? English. That is correct. Outside, so she reads the outside of the clay and says, The outside is a warning. It says, This clay envelope contains the Nam Shub of Inky. Okay. Ask and her who Inky is. Who's Inky? You know, you can be asking these things too. It answers you, I assume. Uh, me? No, I'm telling the I'm telling these turtles that That's, they keep telling me to they keep telling me to ask the librarian better, stuff. Better if you do it for yourself. Mm. Yeah, uh, who who's the Inki? Enki, the Sumerian god of water and knowledge, um, crafts and creation. One of the. Um, one of the de deities of ancient Sumeria. The exact name uh, Inki um, means commonly translates to Lord of the Earth, but the exact meaning is not sure. The language is largely monosyllabic. Sumerian and N, what is Sumerian N translates to the equivalent of Lord, and Ki translates to earth roughly go ahead and what uh, was a nam shove like a, like a priest type thing if I were, uh, that kind of rings a bell I, I am drawing a blank as to how that uh, the context in that which that came up last uh, session uh, the term nam shove refers to any collection of Sumerian glyphs or syllables that can produce a desired effect, mm. which essentially so, like, um, makes it pretty much like a magic spell. Okay. All right. Well, inside here is a tablet that I would like translated to English without any of the original Sumerian being uttered. And I pull out the inner tablet and show it to the librarian. This is the most famous known Namshub, the one that was created by Inky. And it's a spell that corrupts language. This translation is um, approximate. And the librarian clears its throat dramatically and um, reads back, once upon a time there was no snake and no scorpion there was no hyena and no lion. There was no wild dog, no wolf. There was no fear and no terror. Man had no rival. In those days, the land Shuber Hamazi, Harmony Tongue Sumer, the great land of the Me of Princeship, 
Uri, the land having all that is appropriate, the land Martu resting in security. The whole universe, the people well cared for, to Enlil gave one tongue, uh, to Enlil in one tongue gave speech. Then the Lord Defiant, the Prince Defiant, the King Defiant, Enki, the Lord of Abundance, whose commands are trustworthy, the Lord of Wisdom, who scans the land, the leader of the gods, the Lord of Eridu, endowed with wisdom, changed the speech in their mouths, put contention into it, into the speech of man that had been won. And that is the translation of one of the scholars that knows the language, by which she means it's kind of open to interpretation and you could get different translations. If this uh, Namshav were to be utilized, can you predict what the effect would be? And she says, she just says, no, I don't know what the effect would be. That requires creativity and discretion. I am a mechanical entity and I have neither. And Raphael says, let me rephrase the question. Has this Namshub been utilized? According to Mercurio's research, and she says, Mercurio believes that this Namshub was utilized in ancient Sumeria several thousand years ago. <clears throat> this she, kind of a Tower of Babel type thing? There are many database, there are many entries in the databases in this library tracing that connection. Most people think of the Namshub of Enki, if they know about it, think of it as something that somebody wrote or somebody spoke as a um, as a recanting of something that had already happened. Mercurio's theory was that it was written not in reference to a, a historical event that had already passed, but in fact it was administered in the time and place that was appropriate and actually caused the scenario it describes. Alright, so if it were to be utilized again so there uh, there's already more than one language out there uh, there'd just be more languages feels that is unknown the answer to that question is unknown Raphael says it's likely that it would just fragment languages further on a mass scale, um, on an individual scale, if you have that, uh, if you if you know this language, and if you've been conditioned in a certain way, then pathways have formed in your brain, and this language is how those pathways are accessed. When you type a command into a computer and it executes your instructions, it goes through certain um, certain command sets and pathways that have been set up to um, operate the computer. It's called an operating system. When a command is inserted into a human brain, it can be functioning the same way as a command that's inserted into a computer. Right. Computers were modeled after a human brain, after all. So 
So the effect would be on an individual level. The effect maybe cause them to degenerate even further. On the individual would would be to cause them to degenerate further. Um, is the assumed theory and every um, scholar in the know about this is pretty sure that's probably what would happen. Okay, so you said earlier that there is no way out of the the facility. Is that is that correct? And she says, no, that is not correct. And he says, yes, it is. <laughs> And he says, yeah, it's correct. <laughs> so are you guys stuck in here too? Yes, they're stuck. No, we're not stuck. We're not stuck. <laughs> well, if, it, if there's no way out, how, how can he not be stuck? That is a logical fallacy. It is impossible to not be stuck if there is no way out. And he's like, fellas, boring conversation. Um, so you just, so you just lie when the bo when conversation gets boring. That's uh, that's fun. Well, what can we do? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, what we exactly... told Michelangelo. Yeah, yeah, we told you guys earlier. We like, we like, punching stuff. Yeah, we almost killed Michelangelo. I mean. And then he, then he, we let him get away because he seemed like a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely wasn't trying to eat him. <laughs> his, his shell might be, uh, in pretty bad shape, but, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, we let him go. He, he might tell a different story, but that's just because his, uh, his, uh, pride might have been a little bit hurt. I mean, what can we do to? I mean, I don't not know be what stuck we're in doing. a cell all the time. Yeah, we don't want to be in the cell all the time. Is there like something else we can do? No. <laughs> no. Why well, not? Sucks. I'm thinking, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to say tonight. Um, they're going to wake back up in the cells. Yeah, probably, because if, if we fought yeah. him, we'd die. And I can't, but I'm, I'm trying to think if there's any other lore I wanted to dump on you. <laughs> I mean, they're trying to get us to be able to work with them. Damn. They're not going to do that. Oh well. I'm gonna help the. Eat so what? So where are you guys' cells? That's a good question. They don't have holding cells. Yeah. That's, uh... So there is a way out of here is what I'm taking from this. Because yeah. you just don't want... You just don't want to tell us about it. And also... Yeah, so she's, it seems accurate that the, uh... That the librarian doesn't know. She just knows how to get out of this advanced research area. So... Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I'm I'm pretty sure the the cells will open up again at some point. You can give another. I mean, go. I don't know who's doing that or why, but I mean, 
If it's one of you guys, you can tell you can tell us. We won't tell anyone. If it's someone else, then I mean, tell them thanks. I guess. It was nice talking to you, Turtles. We'll go back to yeah. our cage now. Oh, hi. Hello, new character who we know and don't want to know. Come on, boys. Eh, uh, fine. Let's it's go. It's time to go back to your quarters. Why do you keep Why do you keep uh, opening the cells like that? You just messing with us again? Like, wait. I would never mess with my favorite brethren. Can I at <laughs> least have our, some our sessions, our sessions, you know, are always the highlight of my day. Can I at yeah, least that... have like a, a can of Coke or a bottle of Coke before <laughs> yes. I go into my cell? Yeah, perhaps, sure. perhaps a sled? Uh... <laughs> sure, yeah, you can have those things. Oh, neat. Okay, I'll go back in my cell then. As long as I get some Coke. Oh, why did Donata's picture just change? Uh, cause he took his mask off. Whoa. What is this new... Can't really see it up close. What? Okay. What's that picture? What's he look like? He took oh, his, Donatello. He took his mask and his wig off. Oh, wow. You, uh... Okay. All right, so... You suck. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> uh, it's, uh... Yeah, you, you're just messing with us for no reason. Uh, no, like, you won't even let us... You won't let us, uh... You won't even let us do stuff to please you. It sucks. You... <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, you won't let us be evil with you. You won't let us thrive in evil. You won't let us do anything but sit in the cell and get tortured. Well, at least you, they give me coke. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> they like, give us candy. There is, there is, well, we took candy. <laughs> but still. Uh, so the... Uh... Power is, of course, back on, and um, everyone is here. Probably a lot of them are sleeping and so on. Um, the facility. Next time you turn the power off, just just let people know we're wandering around, and so we don't have to fight them. The facility goes back to night mode, and they serve you dinner, and it is time to go to bed and if you try to fight it they pump your quarters full of sleeping gas so how much coke do they give me um i think they would probably give you a two liter because that would be about a 20 ounce for you so <laughs> okay and like a steak or something or like some fish yeah and guess what they don't have any new coke because it doesn't exist yet <laughs> oh nice so it's the, it's the it's the fucking Mexican coke right <laughs> I don't know yet uh, in the early 80s if it was the regular sugar still or not I think they had switched to high fructose corn syrup already but um, new coke was 1986 and um, before that so it would just be it was classic coke for a while and then but anyway that's a story. is it confirmed that they that that was just a uh a stunt to up the to make people love classic coke again <laughs> uh i've never heard of that I, I everything i've read said that they thought that's what they should have done and mm. that they went through it and yeah that went into the history books as the biggest marketing blunder of all time, um, which I think, um, yeah, as far as I know, in terms of dollars lost, it's still the biggest marketing blunder of all time. 
So. I, yeah, I've heard I've heard it that way, and I, I forgot where I heard someone just theorize that it was a uh, it was a stunt. Well, that's a fine was, conspiracy uh, theory, and I wouldn't yeah. <laughs> really be I wouldn't really argue with it too much. I mean, it sounds I mean you know like a pretty good idea. So I was I, surprised we ended up beating the crap out of that one Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Um, yeah, I wasn't sure how that was gonna go. I was, I was thinking one on two, he might kill you, and I was, I was like, well, let's see how this goes. Oh, on he, our way he back, he got some, he got some bad mm-hmm. rolls, and you got some good rolls, and that kind of kept him from acting for. If he had, if he had his six actions for those three rounds, I think both of you would be dead. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well, it was a dream, though, so we just woke up back in our uh, cell. Right. Sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, on our way back, I'd like to mention to one of the turtles, like, hey, that that other turtle, he talked like he well, originally wanted to kill us, and that you guys wouldn't like it, but or his master wouldn't like it, but he wanted to kill us. So, yeah, keep your boy in line. Hmm. <laughs> We're just trying to kiss ass just so they let us be evil with them. Uh, just Empire anything Sinai, like. Please. I want to be evil. I, but, yeah, Captain Courage's main, main goal is to just not live in a cell and go from a cell to getting tortured all the time. <laughs> I like how my character yeah, could tell. easily be bribed to go into his cell just by them handing him, like, Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Donatello says, but that's always the highlight of my day. All right, I am uh, going to shut yeah. this down for the night, and we will play again in two weeks for the exciting conclusion. All right, yeah, Good hopefully luck. I'm feeling well then. I hope so too. I mean, generally speaking, but also so you can play. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping, like, um,. I'll send you a link. Um, you want me to do it after that final session? I can send you a link that has all those uh, p- 